What's up, guys? Thank you for joining. I uh, hope you enjoy this, this class. We're going to work out today on legs and hips, I suppose. So one of the things I like about yoga, not unique to yoga, but about body movements, is that it's hard to like uh, isolate movements. So by working one part, you sometimes work in another. So we, we're going to start by doing a little warm up. We're going to start nice and easy, and then we're going to build up the practice, and then we're going to go right into those legs and hip muscles. So we're going to start by sitting cross-legged, sit, sitting nice and tall. We're going to roll the shoulders up and back and then down. We're going to inhale to lift and exhale to roll back and lower. You may notice that I'm breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. And that's uh, actually quite good. It feels really good to breathe out through the mouth. So don't be afraid to do that when you feel like you need to release some tension. Go ahead and take a breath out through the mouth. Feels really good. Good, we're gonna take a twist. We're gonna take the left hand. I'm gonna mirror you so you can copy like a mirror. Left hand is gonna go behind. I use my fingers. And then the right hand goes to the right knee or across the other side. We're going to spread the shoulders back. And then from here, we're going to turn, not just using the arms to help you turn, but feeling the, work, the muscles on the, on the back and the sides working to give you that twist. You're going to relax the neck and take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. and then come back to center. Switch your hands, remember spread your shoulders so your chest is broad, and then pulling with the arms, pulling and pushing with the arms, but not just the arms, but feel the muscles on your waist working. Since we're just beginning, so take it easy, don't force it too much, just a warm up. And then carefully come back to center. Now we're going to place the hands in front. I'm just going to turn around so that you can see better. I'm going to place the hands in front. You can use the fingers if you feel like the floor is too far. We're going to lift the chest. And then we're going to try and go from the hips. We're going to go and try and go down from the hips. As you go down, feel your tailbone or imagine your tailbone reaching back. So you're kind of rotating your hips rather than rounding your back and reaching but with the head lift your chest and fall from the hips take a couple of deep breaths and then carefully come back from here we're going to lean back on the hands or on the fingers and then we're going to again roll the shoulders back Gently squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other and then push the floor away from you and then lift your chest to the sky. Lift your chest, lift your chest. Head stays there with the chin in. Or if you want, you can drop your head. I don't really see much benefit sometimes of that, so I just keep my chin in. So lifting up, rolling the shoulders back, lifting up across your chest. You want to focus on your spine, on your chest rather, opening. And then gently come back. Now we're going to extend the legs in front. And nice and easy, we're going to shake the legs. Kind of like tapping the legs to the floor. Now we bring the feet together. We're going to turn the feet in circles. And to coordinate with the breath, so we continue breathing nice and deep, we're going to do one circle to inhale. One circle to exhale. And then in the other direction. Good, and then from center, we're gonna extend the tops of the feet, point the toes, point, point, point. And 
and then flex. Reach your heels forward, reach your toes back. Inhale to one direction. And exhale to the other. Good. Now we're going to just change it so you can see. You're going to lean back on your hands and you're going to separate your feet nice and wide. <coughs> you're going to come into your heels. So it might take you a few rounds to feel what's the right position for your heels. Keeping your heels where they are, you're going to, let's go to the right first. You're going to take the knees to the right. And as you go there, the left hip is going to lift. So you want to lift that hip. And then you're going to set both legs on the floor. You're going to feel a stretch here on the outside of your thigh. That's okay. That's good. And you're going to turn the chest. So see the angle of my legs more or less is kind of like 90 degrees. Yeah. And then come back to center. Take a deep breath. And then roll on the heels. Come to the other side. A little bit of movement to readjust. Fine adjust. It's okay. Lift your chest, turn. Now let's go continuously. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale left. Now I'm just going to pick, pick up the pace a little bit. If you still need, feel like you need to continue that, the previous pace, a little slower, that's okay. Now we're going to hold to the right. We're going to turn the chest. And then just like we did before, sitting with the legs crossed, we're going to come on the fingers. Lift the chest and go down from the hips. Remember, down from the hips, don't round your back, don't reach your head. Keep your chest lifted, your shoulders back from the hips. That's good. And then back up to the other side, center, inhale, left. Turn the chest, relax your legs, take your hands forward. With the chest up, go down from the hips. It doesn't matter if you, go, if you can't go down too far. Some people can go all the way down. Some people can't, that's okay. Now here's the difficult version, the tricky version, and don't feel, don't feel bad if you can't. You can still use your hands, yeah? Otherwise, we're gonna look mom no hands. We're gonna do the movement without the hands. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do two more. This is a tricky one. And release. Wow. Well done. We're going to come into hands and feet. I'm going to extend the tops of the feet and we're going to sit on the heels. If you find that really hard, just sit on the, with the toes under, tucked under. Otherwise here, just going to very leisurely, we're going to crisscross the arms in front. Nice and easy. Good. Then from here, we're going to tuck the toes under and going to sit. It's going to give you a good stretch for your toes, especially the, the big toe, but also the soles of your feet. And then from here, one palm on top of the other, arms up, swing them back, change your palms, and do that continuously. Good. Now on to our hands. When you're on your hands, remember, don't put the weight, all of it, on the heel of your hand, but on the base of your fingers and the tips of your fingers. So you're giving support throughout the whole of your hand. 
press to the inner hand and turn the biceps slightly to face the front of your mat. And then from here, points, toes pointing or tucked in. You're going to go back and forward, back and forward. Make sure as you go forward, be easy on your wrists. This is good for the wrist, but as you, if you notice, it's not just, you're not just moving your wrist, you're also moving your shoulders, moving your hips. You're also increasing the flexibility in your ankles. It's a very easy movement, but kind of like works on uh, most of your joints. Then we're going to go forward, hold it. Don't go too far if it hurts, but as far as you comfortably can. And then back to center. Now from here, we're going to concentrate on the spine, joints on the spine, on the, on the vertebrae. So we're going to inhale to open up, tail up, head slightly up, chest forward towards the space between your arms, and then exhale, round the back, head down, tail down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. From here, you're going to extend the legs into a plank and then right away, you're going to come back into an inverted V shape, downward facing dog. We're going to start with the shoulders. So remember on this position, you're on your hands, so remember knuckles and fingertips pressing, and then pressing through the inner hand, you're gonna turn the arms ever so slightly to face biceps to the front of the mat. That's external rotation of the arms. And then from here, you're gonna gently bounce the chest. Don't do too hard if it hurts your shoulders. This type, with this type of ballistic movement, you have to be a little careful not to hurt yourself. So if, you're, if you feel stiff on your shoulders, don't go too far. Just very gentle bouncing. And then this movement, which I quite like, is kind of like shuffling. Almost like, feels like you're trying to get something off your shoulders, like you're shaking off the water. And then this one, good for your, for your, for your legs, the backs of your legs. So walking on the spot, one heel down as the other relaxes and lifts. And then we switch. And then we hold still for a moment. Feel free to bend the knees to give your lower back a little bit more peace and release. And tailbone reaching to the sky, chest, using your arms, pushing to open up your chest and your shoulders. Relax your head. And then taking steps to come to the front of your mat. Coming into a forward bend. If you find it difficult to go all the way down, you can rest your arms on your, on your thighs. Or you can hold your shins. You get more support on your thighs, less support on your shins. No support if you hold your elbows. If you have no support, it's, it's, be it's better in a way because you're letting the back stretch by the weight of your upper body. But if you feel sensitive, it's probably not very good. It's probably not very good. So whichever is good for you. Here as well. You can do that type of bouncing, but I wouldn't recommend that if you have a sensitive back. When I feel okay and energetic and there's no pain, I, I, I kind of quite like to do this, but do it very gently. Yeah. And then releasing, we're going to take a deep breath, come to stand. You're going to stand here, find a balance, or feel your balance, take a couple of deep breaths. Good, so as we take the arms overhead, which is called a flexion, remember every time you take arms overhead, remember to turn the arms from the upper arm to find that external rotation. So we inhale, extend, and exhale. Pull. So we're going to step the left leg back, nice and wide. We're going to lower the knee and we're going to come up. You can point the toes, the back toes, or you can keep the toes stuck under. What you want really here is keep your knee 
your front knee above your ankle. And then you bring the hands to the hips. And then we do that, that bouncing. In that bouncing, you're going to feel the stretch in the front of your left thigh. If you don't feel it, then try to have your pose a little wider. That's why I recommend that when you step, you get a big step. You find you get a, you get a little, uh, a nice big step. And then we bounce, bounce, bounce as we breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. To come out of the pose, we place the hands on the floor. Step the leg back and come into a plank. Take a couple more breaths here. And then if you can do the push down to the floor, if you find it hard, just go on your toes, on your, sorry, on your knees, and then slowly lower. Press the top of the feet on the floor. Float your hands so that as you lift into the cobra, you're using your back muscles, your hips, and your legs to help you come up. And then release. Push up out of the pose, come into downward dog and extend the left leg. Extend the left leg behind into a three-legged dog. Keep slight internal rotation of your thigh. So the front of your thigh rolls in. Extend, push with your arms, take a breath in. And as you exhale, step it between your hands if you can. Otherwise, behind your hands. As much as you can between your hands. Find that little readjustment to come into the pose on your knee. Maybe pointing the toes, hands to the hips, and then bouncing. Just doing a little warm up. We're still in the warm up. We need to get that body warm up before we do the exercises. Breathing nice and deep. And then we're going to go to the front of the mat. So we place the hands on the floor or the fingers. We lift the knee and then we step. A little stretch and take a breath in. Extend arms to the sky. And as we exhale, we fall straight away. Support your hands and then take the right leg this time. Right leg back. Come back into that low lunge and then come up. So you're going to bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, but the index fingers. If you find this, for, for stiff shoulders, it's a little easier to have them apart. Remember to keep that external rotation. It's almost like you, wanna you want your hands to face back. That's the external rotation you want to have. And then from here, we're going to reach up. We're going to shuffle. Be gentle. Remember, those hips want to go forward. If you go forward with the hips and your knee go pa goes past your ankle, readjust the pose, go a little wider. Good, from here we go into a plank, so we lower the hands, tuck the back toes, lift the knee and step back. Breathe. And then we lower on the knees if you need. Into a cobra, still without the hands. And back to downward dog. We extend the, le the right leg. Remember to keep that slight internal rotation of, of the leg, of the thigh. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, you step the leg forward. If you can't step it right between your hands, then step it behind, and then when you come up, then you can readjust the pose so you can have that nice and wide pose. We take the arms up, palms apart or together, and then we shuffle the shoulders. Remember the hips go forward. You can keep the back toes tucked under, or you can point, whichever is best for you. Keep it nice and deep. Good. We lower the hands. We're going to come to the front of the mat. Little stretch there, take a deep breath. Then we come to stand. Inhale. Notice that I bent my knees because it's nice. Do that for the lower back when you're coming up. And then exhale, fold. 
I'm gonna step the left leg back, back into that lunge. I'm gonna keep the left hand on the floor, press on the floor, use the floor, push. And I'm gonna turn the trunk, the waist in the trunk. And I'm gonna extend the right arm to the sky. Deep breaths. That left hip sinking, sinking, sinking to the floor, sinking, sinking. Okay, we're gonna go back into that plank. So tuck the toes, come into plank, breathe. And then lower. We're gonna use the hands for that cobra now. So legs, hips, back, muscles, and arms to lift. And then release, come into downward dog. Good, extend your left leg back, reach, breathe in, and then step it forward on the exhale. Lower your knee for the lunge, keep your right hand on the floor, and then turn, waist, turn, chest, extend the left arm. Nice and deep breath. from here back to the front of the mat to a four bend one moment here to stretch and then if you have a strong back keep the legs straight I always like to bend the knees a little easy to come up and then exhale fold again right leg goes back back into the lunge we're gonna start loading the legs so like keeping keeping the back leg straight Press into the ball of your foot on the floor and then come into your fingertips. Now feel lighter and lighter and lighter on the fingertips and don't move your body. All it moves is the arms. So lock the body in place, reach the arms back. Roll your shoulders back, reach your chest forward. So your chest and your belly are kind of resting on your thigh. Lower the hands, come into a plank, breathe in, and down, exhale. Inhale into a cobra, and then exhale into downward dog. Which leg is next? Um, right leg goes up, breathe in. And step it forward, exhale. Keep the back leg straight. Lift your chest on the fingertips. Keep the connection of your trunk with the thigh. And then extend the arms back. Place your hands on the floor and step to the front of your mat. One moment here to stretch. Inhale to come up. And then we finish standing up, so lower the arms, just the arms and come into a standing position. Good. So we're gonna start with a wide uh, stand, stance with the feet ever so slightly turned out. And then we're gonna place, let's do the right foot first. So where your heel is, you're gonna place the ball of your foot. So all you, want, all you wanna do is lift your heel and then move your foot slightly back. Now your left leg, the foot which is flat, the left foot is flat, you're gonna load on that leg and then you're gonna come down. So let's say 80% on the left, 20% on the right. So Use the strength of the left leg, inhale, and exhale, come up. 10 times, one, two, three, 
four. Eight, nine, and ten. Plant your right foot on the floor. Same technique, left foot slightly back, lift on your heel, and then come down. This way of doing squats is very good because it helps you notice where, what imbalance you may have. In my case, it's easier for me to do this one you, we just did than the one we're going to do. So weight on the right leg and then exhale to come up. Ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Good. I'm going to give the legs a little shake. Apologies if you can't see my head. Now we're going to go back to that, po that, that stance, feet slightly turned out. We're going to do this with the fingers on the floor, but I want to show you first the legs. So the knees are your guide. As you lower down, you want your knees to move out towards the, say the outer toes, yeah? Don't collapse your knees in and keep the arches of your feet lifted. But we're going to do it on the hands. I'm going to go far. We're going to go as far down as we can, keeping the heels on the ground. So I'm just going to change to this position so that you can see better. So don't worry if you can't go all the way. Even if it's just up here, that's just good. And then we're going to extend and bend. We're going to go for 10, nice and easy. One, inhale down, exhale up, two, Three, remember your knees going out. Four, obviously if you can go all the way down, go for it. Five, six, remember to extend those legs when you come up. Eight, if you find it difficult to extend, obviously don't go all the way. And ten, good, carefully come up. Notice how I came up. I lower the hips first and then I came up with my chest. Good for your lower back. Same thing like they tell you to do when you pick up a package. Up from your chest, strength from the hips. Good. Shake the legs. Now we're going to find a nice and wide pose, really wide. So it's the widest for you but you're comfortable in it, yeah? You're gonna turn the feet to the side. Let's do the left foot. So turn the left foot to the side, and then as you go to sit on that heel, you're gonna roll, there's different ways of coming into this pose, but I'll show you this one. As you turn to sit on that heel, you're gonna come into the right heel and turn the toes to the sky. Another way to come into that posture is just from here, but it's just a some, for some people it's hard to, once you're here, to extend the length. But like, let's suppose we just found a way to come into the pose. So we're on the left leg, leaning on the left leg. The left thigh, the right thigh is externally rotating with the knee to the sky, toes to the sky. I'm just going to take a few breaths here. If you have, uh, if you're hyper flexible, meaning that you can, you can extend the leg quite a lot and just instead of completely extending and letting the knee drop back have a little 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 bend on that knee you will find if you're happy flexible it's quite difficult to do this you need to really get that that, that brain to really connect with the muscles of your thigh the quadriceps to engage to help you keep slight bend good now to go to the other side I'm going to go with the hands first so that we can all go nice and easy. So on the hands, keep your hips low, as low as you can. You're going to bend the, the right leg, go onto the foot, and then you go into the other side. And then we're going to hold here for a few breaths. Remember, for hyperflexibility, you don't want to hyperextend your knee. You want to keep slight bend. As you bend the knee, your quads are going to feel 
awake. And that, for, for those who have hyperflexibility, can be quite difficult. So you have to be really aware of that. Now let's go a couple of times nice and slow. So go to the left. Remember, notice that I'm using my hands. Go to the right. Go to the left. And go to the right. If you don't need to use your hands, don't use your hands. If you need to go slow, go slow. Otherwise, we're going to pick up the pace. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and time. We're going to hold it here. Whew. And then go to the other side. And then carefully come out of the pose. Ugh. Good, give your legs a little shake. And then we move on to the next, to the next pose, to the next exercise. So you're gonna get the, the legs nice and wide again. It is your widest pose, but you're still comfortable in it, yeah? So don't worry if it looks different to mine. And then we're gonna turn the feet out. Don't worry about turning the feet completely out. That's not really the point and perhaps even not advisable. So say halfway out and then same direction. When you bend your knees, you want your knees to go out. Yeah, out, out, out. You're going to feel this part of your legs stretching. And now just to show you from this side, the action of your hips. As you bend your knees and you lower your hips, you want your tailbone to kind of lift and reach back. And it's that my hips are also reaching back a little. Tailbone reaches back, your lower back arches, your chest lifts. So there's a bend in the lower back, lifting in the chest, tailbone reaching back, hips moving back. And then we exhale, and then we come back to stand. So remember that position, very important, that rotation of the hip. Hip back, tailbone back, lower back arching, chest lifting, so many directions, and then come up. And then remember your knees also, yeah? So you're going to go for 10. Hands, wherever you want. One, two, three, four. Remember the action of the hips, of the legs, of the chest. Eight, nine. And then we're going to hold here. Feel a bit of pain. So, okay, two, three, two, five, and five, and come up. Ooh, slowly come back. Jesus. Good. Shake your legs. We're going to do a similar one, same posture, but a similar, vari a different variation. Good. We open up. Turn the toes. We start on a, on a bend position. So open the, t open the feet, go down. Remember the action of the hips, lower back, chest. And then here, you're going to bounce. If that is too much, just hold it still. Or else you're going to go down and back. So this is called, I think this is called ballistic stretching. And again, you have to be careful with this type of stretching because if you're not careful, you can, you can hurt yourself a little. Gonna go for 10 counts more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And then we're gonna hold it down for five, a little deeper, four, a little deeper, three. Remember the tail back, lower back arching, two, and up you go. 
carefully come back. Give your legs a little shake. We're gonna work on, um, let's do maybe, maybe just one more exercise, so maybe two more, not sure yet. We're gonna work on balancing. So strength of the legs to help you find the balance. So you're gonna step, let's do the right leg first. So make sure your toes are pointing forward, yeah? And then from here, you're gonna step the right leg back. But pay attention. When you step the right leg, don't move your hip. So take your hands to your hips. Right hand holds the right hip, so the right hand is the guide. As you take the right leg back, keep your hip forward. So don't take your, what I mean is don't take your hip with it. Good, from here, we're gonna lift the chest. You can, keep, you can keep a little bend in the knee, might be easier for you. And then as the right hip goes forward, the, le the leg lifts. If this is the end pose for you, that's just, that's just as good. Otherwise, you're gonna try and come up with the leg, pour with the chest. And then we come forward, you can have a mini step to rebalance. Or if, you, or, or if you can, straight away, you know, bring the leg in. And then we're going to do five rounds like that. You're going to inhale, back, exhale, forward. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, good, give your legs a little shake. So you have to be aware of the food which is on the ground and that will give you the balance, so be aware of that. I have easy balance, perhaps because I have wide feet too, but also like the base of your big toe, you have to nail that on the floor, so press that on the floor and that will give you, will give you the balance. It'll also your gaze can give you a balance, so looking somewhere and kind of like fixing that Attention there. So let's do the left leg back. Remember the left hip forward. And then lift your leg. If this is the end for you, that's it. It's good enough. Otherwise, you're going to try and lift back. But keep your hip forward. And then exhale. Bring it in. For five. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Good. Next, a little shake. I know, we're going to do one more, and that's it. We're going to do just one more. <laughs> just one more. We're going to come to sit. And we're going to split the legs. So for, you, for those of you who find it really hard, bend the knees and even use your hands for support and then lift your chest. So it might look something like this for you. That's okay. Actually, as I bring the feet in, I notice that it's a little bit easier for me to, to lift the sacrum, yeah? You kind of want to sit on the front portion of your sitting bones. So rather than... Rather than sitting here, you want to lift across your sacrum. You want to kind of roll on the front portion of your seats. And then from here, you can do the exercise, yeah? I've been doing this for a while, so I'm a little bit more flexible. So remember, rolling on the front portion of your hip, of your seats, and if possible, having the legs straight. And then from here, we're going to place the hands to the back of the head. Or you can have the arms in front. Actually, the arms in front may be a little harder. Or you can have the hands on the hips. We want to focus the movement on from the hips. So rolling the shoulders back. You're going to move from the hips, keeping your chest up. Exhale down. Inhale up.
two more and then come up you can rest with your hands and behind you to help you relax your legs if you can use if you can see without your hands make fists and then massage your inner thighs so you want your legs to relax as much as possible to prepare for the other exercise relax your legs give your inner thighs a massage all the way in and, and out and then your outer thighs and then the glutes now that your legs are relaxed maybe you can you can go a little bit wider so what i do is i lift my hips and as i reach the heels out i reach the hips forward maybe you can do just a little bit more maybe not that's okay now we're gonna concentrate on the trunk so you turn the trunk and then you reach you come back you turn the trunk and then you reach remember as you reach keep your chest lifted and then exhale that inhale up Do one more round and then up. Good. So sitting, uh, sitting back on the hands, or maybe if you can still sit upright without your hands, use your fists to massage your legs. We're almost there. We're almost there. Don't give up yet. Good. Now we're gonna maybe open up a little bit more. Good. And now from here, we're gonna come into the fingers. We're gonna lift the chest. We're gonna engage your quadriceps. That's the front of your thigh. So you're gonna tighten up really tight and then you're gonna fall down. Nice and tight, really, really, really tight. Really, really tight. We're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, and then release. See if you can go a little deeper. Now we're gonna tighten up your outer thighs and glutes so squeeze your glutes your outer thighs and try to isolate those so there's there's no quads in, engaged just the glutes nice and tight in the glutes lift your chest hold that tension and then release come up relax your legs sit on your hands to help you lift your chest and then you, you can then relax your legs or if you're comfortable without your hands tap your inner thighs you want that massage to help your legs relax we're almost there and your outer thighs And then the glutes. Now that your legs are nice and relaxed, see if you maybe can go just a little bit wider. So as your heel reach, heels reach out, your hips reach forward. Good. Now we're going to hold the pose without the hands. <clears throat> so hands can go to the back of the head or can just be just in the air. You can hold your shoulders or your elbows. And then keeping your chest lifted, use your legs to help you hold the pose. You're going to engage your legs and then go down from your hips as you go down from your hips keep your chest lifted strong legs notice that as the more you actively engage the muscles of your legs the easier it is to hold your trunk in the middle of the air so gravity is pulling you down you're using your your um, legs to help you be there down a little bit more and then up good one last round so relax your legs sitting upright with, on your hands or give a massage our thighs
splits. Maybe, just maybe, you can go a little bit wider now. Good, now hands on the floor. Firm glutes, firm quads. With the, with the support of your hands, lift your chest and slowly go down from the hips. We're gonna take 10 breaths. One. deeper, five, six, down a little deeper, seven, eight, down a little deeper, nine, and using your hands, slowly bring yourself up, good. Carefully come out of the pose. You just slide your hips back and that will ease on the stretch. And then with your hands on the backs of your knees, you can slowly bring the legs back in. Good, then we're gonna lie on the back. We're almost done. We're gonna take the knees to chest. I'm just gonna gently sway side to side. So lift your head just a little and tuck your chin, lengthen the back of your neck and then reset your head on the floor. And then from here, place your feet on the floor. And then one at a time, perhaps take your legs down to the floor. Rest your arms in whatever place is comfortable, out on the floor by the side, or you can have your hands on your lap, or in your belly. And then uh, rest here. Let your whole body relax, whole body relax. Deeply relax. Your arms relax, your legs, hips, spine, Shoulders, face, your whole body melting, melting. 